Hey there guys, how you all doing? Off here again and finally it's time to review my pink super strat. You haven't heard from me for a while because I've been busy working on my upcoming solo album and building this beauty in front of you. Yeah, I built it all myself from warm-up parts. I'm gonna tell you all about it, but first, let's listen to some sounds. <laughs> So now that we've heard some sounds, let's talk about it. As you can see, the color is shell pink, original Floyd Rose with a few tones, naval uh, brass inserts, I think they're called. I don't know if they affect the tone anyhow, but they look great with the pink and black and everything. Uh, Dimarzia Super Distortion head laying around here. Seymour Duncan Quarter Pounder at the neck. About the Super Distortion, I'm not sure if I love it or not. Can you tell me in the comment what you think on it? I appreciate it. Uh, I just had it laying around here and I decided to put it in and see how do I feel about it today. So turns out I'm still not sure about it. As for the quarter pounder, I love it, it sounds great. It's a really warm sounding single coil. We've got a flame maple neck, 3A flame maple neck with a flame maple fingerboard. Really nice figurine on this one, hard to get it through the camera but I hope you can see it. 6100 stainless steel frets, jumbo frets, really feel great. It takes a little time to get used to um, stainless steel frets. I had it on a previous guitar but um, I don't know, it kind of feels like you're playing on glass, it's kind of slippery. <laughs> But after you get used to it, it's really nice because it's make, it makes playing easier and smoother and it's very cool. Uh, I got the Wolfgang neck profile, which is an asymmetrical profile, means uh, it's thicker at the thumb side and thinner at the lower side of the neck. And it's a bit fat for me, at the beginning it, uh, it felt kind of weird, but now it really it's really like uh, nice and you know, kind of gets in your hand nicely and I don't know it's kind of a, an addictive profile I'm not used to this kind of neck profiles I'm used to thinner profiles and I really love it it's very cool uh, Schaller locking tuners love these and Allen wrench holder also by Schaller that's a great tool to have if you have a Floyd Rose guitar because every time you break a string you're looking for that shitty wrench <laughs> And it's fucking annoying. So uh, yeah, get it. 
Uh, let's talk about some of the flaws of the guitar. Warmoth made a few mistakes. First of all, when I got it and I put the nut on it, I noticed that the routing for the nut is not uh, exact. Like you still, I don't know if you can see it. You have some extra routing over the nut itself. It's not a big deal, it's cosmetic. And Warmoth uh, refunded me for it, so that it was great. And after I put the old guitar together and started playing it, I started noticing some chips. Like this was the first one, this dent on the curve of the guitar. Then I noticed uh, this one, I think. I don't know if you can see it. And then I discovered the worst one. It was right next to uh, the neck plate, under the, next to the screw. So I thought something is wrong. I didn't over tighten the screws. I didn't hit the guitar anyhow. I contacted Warmoth and they immediately said they're going to send me a new body. That's very awesome of them. They probably they did a thin uh, paint or something and it just fall off the guitar. So I don't know, maybe it will turn out to be this uh, rally guitar in the future. Who knows? But I really love it. It feels great. It's sturdy. It's hard to get it out of tune. Uh, it's resonant. You can feel the old guitar shaking. Oh! I forgot to say, I also put in stone tone granite block. I also got it on my white Charvel. Uh, you know about the brass blocks probably. So this guy called Robert made this uh, company called Stone Tone and they make granite blocks. Uh, apparently granite is a mineral or whatever and it absorbs energy from the earth. So, excuse me, I'm not an expert on this, but it's supposed to get out resonance in its full, um, it's supposed to get out the resonance out of your guitar basically in its full aspect if you will so it's pretty cool and I think I covered everything great sounding guitar, love it, feels great <laughs> said it's kind of addictive hard to get the hands of it uh, if you're thinking about getting warm-up parts and go through the process of building your own guitar I can say it's a tremendous experience for me it was uh, because I don't know I like tinkering with stuff and I always kind of uh, investigate my guitars take the Floyd Rose apart take the um, uh, pots out I don't know whatever so putting everything together, soldering, drilling in the body, uh, drilling in the neck, putting everything to one piece and then playing it and hearing it scream and rock hard, it was an amazing experience. But you need to bear in mind that uh, some things can go wrong and it's pretty nerve-wracking, for example, drilling in a $400, $500 body, you know, you miss a drill and you're fucked. So take that in mind but I highly recommend it it's a great experience and you know if you make a mistake you can own it so it's great anyhow yeah great guitar Lady D love it to death thanks for watching guys please subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook instagram and drop a comment let me know what you think about the guitar about my playing and about Iron Maiden I don't know whatever I'll see you on the next video stay safe rock on Bye-bye.